Hey everybody, have you ever heard someone say the very first word of the Bible actually means in a beginning? This is technically accurate but misleading because it only means that because it is in a construct relationship with the rest of the verse, which is a clause that says God created the heavens and the earth. So the very first word cannot function in isolation and shouldn't be translated in isolation because it adopts the definiteness of whatever follows. In this case, the description of an event which has definiteness. So a more literal translation would be in the beginning of God created the heavens and the earth or more idiomatically, when God began to create the heavens and the earth, dot, dot, dot. So Genesis 1-1 is a temporal clause, and then Genesis 2 describes the circumstances that obtained when God began to create the heavens and the earth. And this is grammatically parallel to what we see in the second half of Genesis 2-4 and in Genesis 5-1. Only there, instead of bereshit, they say bayom, in the day of God's creating uh, the earth and the heavens and God creating humanity. Now, you can't use bayom in Genesis 1 because you're describing a multi-day creation process. So I would suggest that Genesis 1 is the later composed of those three introductions. They're all supposed to be temporal clauses, but Genesis 1-1 couldn't say in the day of, and so it had to choose a different word and went with bereshit, in the beginning of.